demo, right? I haven't paid for this game yet. And that's because it's like $30 and I, I can't really afford, um, I can't really afford much of anything right now. I'm, a, I'm actually in a pretty bad way uh, financially. So um, I'm not gonna buy this game uh, just yet. If anybody wants to, uh, wants to help me out uh, by buying this for me on Steam, I will I will go ahead and play through the whole thing. But um, since there's a free demo, I thought it would be cool to, it sounds like Double Dragon. It's, it's a cool game. This came out in 2010. It got a reboot uh, this year. And um, I, I, I've i never seen anything like this. This is like a really cool game. Uh, it's Capcom. Uh, you know you know how I usually play Atlas games? Like so everything about this game is like different than what I usually play. But I thought we'd just play through the um, demo and see if anybody was interested in helping me uh, play through the full game. So um, let's take a, a look here. New game. All right, here we go. Are you ready for some ghost trick? Okay, so time is important in this game. It's 7.02 p.m. Chapter 1. Oh, yeah, the, like this game, like the, the um, character art is really good. Must have been unconscious for a while. My head feels fuzzy. Kind of like I'm swimming through the darkness. When I came to, there was a woman standing there. A woman I don't know. At least I don't think I know her. And there was a man with a gun. I don't know him either. Well, probably not anyway. Now, I'm not the kind of guy who can just stand back and watch a poor woman get shot. But I have just one little problem. I'm already dead myself. And also ass up, if you notice, right? This has got to be me, no question about it. After all, do you see any other dead bodies laying around here? No, no, I don't. This is this is clearly us. So uh, that's a problem. We want to help her out. I feel bad for her, but what can I do? I'm dead. I just what? But just when I was thinking of this. Bad guy says, so long, sister. This is no time to be lolling around dead. Yeah, good point. Uh, you're the only one who can save her. Oh, wait, that's somebody else saying this to us, right? You're the only one who can save her. What? What the whole world? Oh, no, God. Oh, wait, what do I do? Press the... Um... Does anybody know what's the thing that you press to get the bottom the bar at the bottom of your um you you know the bar at the bottom of your screen that's like 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 the windows bar is there a button that you can press to get that to go away cuz i'm i'm missing like a little bit here let me just like Let's put... Oh my god, no. Let's put this up here. What the... The whole world just changed on me. Welcome to the ghost world. The land of the dead. Okay, now that's not a good place for that either. Welcome to the ghost world, the land of the dead. The voice in a voice in my head. Who are you? No time for introductions now. You have to save her. I know you can do it. All you have to do is use your powers. Huh? Me save her? Oh, uh, how? Take a look at your corpse. Do you see that blue flame? That's your soul. And do you see that bright white spot nearby? That's a core. So we got a soul and we got a core. A core? Hmm. Just looks like a railroad crossing gate to me. Look, the best way to understand it is just to try it. First, try moving your soul with AWSD. Okay, we're going to move our soul. Oh, <gasps> look. Um, there we go. We connected. Congratulations. Your soul is now possessed the crossing gate. 
Uh, so what? I'm the crossing gate? Hmm. Now then. Use the crossing gate to save the woman. Okay. But how? In a moment, time will start to flow normally again. That will be your chance. Listen, when the man pulls the trigger, the woman dies, right? So before that happens, you have to use your powers to stop it. Hey, wait, wait a second. I still don't know what you're talking about. You'll see. You'll see. Okay, we'll see. Now that again, time will start to flow again. Uh, eat a raise. Oh, yo, look at that. I rose the gate. Hold it. Well played. What just happened? That was one of your powers at work. A ghost trick. A ghost trick. We have the titular thing. Ghost trick. You mean I made the crossing gate move? Oh, also mods. If anybody wants to change me over to... Uh... Wait, what is it? Like... Category... Or no, game... Wait, what What do you do again? Oh my god, I'm trying to remember how to change... Um... I don't know if I did it right. I don't think I did it right. I'm gonna have to try to do it like this. Wait. Category. Okay, get rid of just chatting and type in ghost trick. Phantom detective. Really? Okay, there we go. You mean I made the crossing gate move? That's right, you manipulated the object uh, with the power of the dead. A ghost trick! We did a ghost trick! Yay! And uh, all you have to do to perform- wait, did I actually- Let me make sure. Yeah, it looks like I changed it. It's like I updated things. Okay. All you have to do to perform a trick like that is to press E. Okay, well, remember that. It's E. Now the woman's fate has changed, albeit just a little. Yeah, she still kind of has a gun pointed at her. That's not good. Yes, hmm. That's not good. Yeah, that's what I said. But at least now you're starting to figure out how to use your powers. So I enter the ghost world with a ghost and I possess an object and then I perform a trick with it. Yeah, ghost and trick. Ghost and trick. What's up, vamps? We're ghost tricking. Now you're getting it. Now you're getting it. Let's move on to the next step. Try possessing a different core. Okay. Ooh, neat. I possessed a guitar. Let's E. Let's strum this. I see a guitar. Yeah. What do you want from me? We're gonna strum it. I would have referred a giant wrecking ball. That would solve the, uh, that giant wrecking ball. That would have solved our problem real quick. Uh, but I guess I can't reach cores that are too far away. Well, I guess we'll have to see what you can do with that guitar. I know what to do with the guitar. I know what to do with the chat. I play guitar. Ghost trick, yes. 
strum. That's what you do with a guitar. I mean, that's what I do with a guitar. Some people play lead. I play, I just strum it. I play rhythm, so I'm a strummer. I'm a natural born strummer. Uh, that's gotta be some of the slowest running away I have ever seen. Yeah, it's the Godzilla type of uh, running away, right? It's a kaiju uh, movie running away. Hmm, looks like I gotta have to come up with something more. Uh, let's see, what core is close enough to possess from here? Okay, so the guitar got shot. I guess uh, all there is is me. No time to be picky, I've got a woman to save. I like your attitude. It's admirable, truly, but... But what? If I can manipulate objects, then I ought to be able to manipulate my own corpse, right? Yeah, zombie yourself, right? Well, uh, tell you what, why don't you just try it and see? Go ahead and possess your own corpse. Okay, you don't have to tell me twice. Oh, yeah. All right, now we'll set time into motion. Okay, go ahead and try E. E. Nothing. Nothing happened. <sighs> Nothing's happening. Exactly. Sad but true, I'm afraid. You can only manipulate non-living things. Corpses, even if they aren't alive anymore, aren't really just ordinary things. You've gotta be kidding me! Wait, what about that woman? What's gonna happen to her? Let's take a look, shall we? If you want to take a look around, you can move the screen. Move the screen? It's easy. Here, just give it a try. Use uh, your... Yeah, there we go. We're moving the screen. Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future! Bang. Oh my god, here we go. Did I lose this game already? Wait, I think you can use predictions. How do predictions work? Anybody want to try, like, show me predictions, right? Predict, like, did I lose this game? Is that is that a, a thing we can do with predictions? I know there's like a predictions thing on, on Twitch that you use when you actually play games, which I never do. In the end, it looks like her fate remained unchanged. So what good are these ghost tricks of mine? Uh, but just as I was thinking this... Hello there, how are you feeling? Not very well, I imagine. A terrible tragedy what happened tonight. Ah, ignoring me, are you? It's a little too early for you to be so stiff and cold, I'd say. Ah, so it, it was you. You were the voice in my head, right? Well, I wouldn't say voice exactly. The dead don't have voices, you see. It's more like my... So this is a ghost too. This is an, a fellow ghost. It's more like my thoughts were being beamed directly into your mind. That's another little trick ghosts can do. It looks like my ghost tricks didn't do that much. She still ended up as dead as before. That's true, for now. For now? I still have more to teach you. About the powers of the dead, your ghost tricks. Who exactly are you anyway? Or yeah, who or what? Before I answer that, I think we should save this young lady. I mean, is she still alive? 
Isn't it a shame to see such a pretty woman? Well, I mean, like it was a shame regardless of how she looks. Um, lying here, discarded like a piece of trash. Uh, but what can I do? She's already dead. Time for more ghost lessons for you, my friend. First of all, I ha I'll have you possess me. Possess you? Once you've done that, I'll tell you about an. I'll tell you about another one of your powers. Okay, so we gotta possess the lamp. Why am I so determined to save this woman? After all, it's not like I know her, but I guess I'll take a look. I'll take the desk lamp up on his invitation. His? My reason is twofold. Number one, I'm not the type to leave a woman lying around like a discarded piece of trash. Number two, I don't have anything else to lose at this point. Trick time. Okay. Let's click on that. Wait, no. What am I doing? That's a thought bubble that you just pressed, yeah. Those are your thoughts, uh, what you're saying to yourself in your head. My thoughts, eh? So the dead don't have voices. And what we think is communicated directly to one another. So these thought bubbles are a sort of stand-in. I, I think I'm starting to get it. I think so too. Oh, they can hear our thoughts. Oh, that's right, because ghosts can hear your... Okay. Ghosts communicate with thoughts, not with voice. I get it. Just remember to always keep an eye out for the thought bubbles. Okay, good idea. I just might have to get uh, some more important clues from them. Now then, in order to possess me, first you'll have to enter the ghost world. And Q is your ticket in. Here we go. We're going to Q our way into the ghost world. Uh, best thing uh, to do is try it. Q. Uh, I guess I'll press it. There we are. We're in the ghost world. Okay. So we go to the door. Can we do anything with that? No. Go to the traffic sign. Can't do anything with it. Traffic cone. Can't get to the phone. Can we do anything with the traffic cone? No. Traffic sign. What is this? Oh, by the way, you'll have to take a look at the middle of your screen. What about it? It tells you what trick you can perform with the object you're currently possessing. The information is there for you to check out whenever you need it. So in this case, uh, the case of this folding cot, it looks like I can unfold it. Okay, so... And perform the trick... Uh, on the objects you're possessing. Uh, you have to first return to the land of the living. Oh, okay. This time, uh, C is your ticket out of the ghost world. Okay. Well, good luck then. Counting on you. Who is this we? Uh, so C. We're back in the world of living. Unfold. And now Q to go back into the ghost world. And there we go, possess the lamp. That's funny. What is? Uh, my corpse, my corpse and her corpse. There's definitely d something different about the two. There's something emanating from my corpse. That's because you're special. What's that supposed to mean? Not everybody who dies gets special powers, you know? So the waves are because of my powers of the dead? Anyway. Congratulations, you passed. Well, what do you know? What prize do I get? A new power, what else? Another one? Now let's review. You can possess objects and manipulate them, right? Now, what do you suppose will happen if you possess a corpse? Uh, nothing? Nothing, because I already tried that, remember? And nothing happened. True. You don't have the ability to manipulate a corpse. However, there is something else you can do. 
Oh yeah, what's that? Why don't you try and see? Trick time. Ghost trick time. Um. A Q. And then... Yo! What's this? Can you hear me? Wait a minute. What's going on here? Looks like she's unconscious, the poor thing. Unconscious, but she's dead. Yes, but think back. Remember when you died? When you came to your census, you'd been unconscious too. Unconscious, hmm. Come to think of it, the desk lamp was right. When I came to, I was already dead. Let's leave her like this for now. And while she's resting, we can save her life. Sure, you make it sound so easy. And it is easy. When you use the powers, when you use your powers on a corpse, you can go back to the past in time four minutes before the person's death. Are you serious? Back in time? That's right, but there's a catch. It only works on new corpses, corpses that have been dead for less than one day. And she still will within that limit. You might want to give it a try before it's too late. Uh, but this is crazy. None of this makes any sense. We're talking about the powers of the dead here. It doesn't have to make sense. Now let's go, shall we? Uh, to the time four minutes before this woman was murdered. Hey, wait a second. I still don't know what you're talking about. You'll see. Rewind time. Okay, so we get, press the button to rewind time. And so now I'm going back in time to witness this woman's last four minutes alive. Uh, not as fuzzy, not as a fuzzy distant memory of the past, but as a very real living present. Back to four minutes ago. Wake up! Are you okay? What happened to you? Oh no, he's dead! Who are you? Here's my business card right here, sister. My little golden friend. You did this. You killed him, didn't you? Instead of playing who done it right now, you ought to be more concerned with your own fate. Who are you? Some sort of hitman? They said we had to rub out all the last traces of Temsek. Left Temsek, left in this country. Temsek? What in the world is that? Beats me. Just do what I'm told. And I know. You've got nowhere else to run. Time to die, sister. As long as the bad boy wrecking ball stays right up there, where it belongs. Wait, was that me saying that? Look, I want to know... All I want to know is, who are you? You don't know me, and I don't know you. This is just business. Sounds like Twitch politics. So long, sister. Okay, so that happened because we did it. Okay. So that's... We don't have to redo the... And we don't have to redo that. Hold it. So... A shotgun. Kind of a flashy weapon for a hitman, don't you think? Not flashy, just thorough. They call me Nearsighted Jigo, but I never let my prey get away. Ever thought of buying a pair of glasses? Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim right now. My eyesight and your future. Okay, so we gotta change fate. Wait, did that just happen again? We're supposed to intervene.
There you have it, the last four minutes of her life. No! It's kind of ironic when you think about it. A woman toyed with by fate, and a man toyed with by a ghost. But she still died. Yes, you can change that with your ghost tricks. Just like you did four minutes ago. Possess and manipulate, huh? Ghost and trick. And you can rewind these four minutes as many times as you like. Now then, are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, rewind time. Here we are again. So, this four minutes ago... Fine, I get it. But what am I doing all the way down here? That's just how it works. Her corpse was... Your gateway into the past, after all. So we start off on, yeah, the thing that, like, so it's the corpse that lets us rewind time. Okay. Naturally, your starting point is where her corpse was. And this is where she died. Okay, I get it now. Hop on, then. Trick time. Q. We're into the ghost world. Let's try E. There are only four minutes left before she dies. You better try to get to her as fast as you can. There's no time to lose, okay. Who are you? Time is passing, okay. So we can stop that by last seconds of her life are counting down. Looks like I better get up there fast. That's right, I have, have a look on the right side. The right side, eh? The sand... Oh, that's the sand. Okay, so that's our timer. Get to her quickly before the sand is gone. Up you go, then. Q. Go up to the mannequin. Mannequin does nothing. What's that? Tire can roll. Wait, can it roll? Okay, what is the button to get back to the... C and E. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see. We gotta be in the real world to, like, okay, so Q again. Okay. It's a flag. We haven't seen that yet. What does it do? There's a flag. There's a fan. Turn on the fan. And it blows the flag. Okay, but it doesn't look like it does anything. So we'll turn it off again and go back into the ghost world. Go over here. I can't get... I can't get over here. Wait, let's try, uh, E, and then over here again. There we go. Now we can get up here. Open the refrigerator, Q and E. There's a blender! Okay, we gotta hurry up, we gotta hurry up. We've heard all this before. Time is passing, yes. Time is running out, yes. Um, 
close the door and then cue back into the ghost world over here. What can I do with the blender? I can turn it on. Okay. Back into the ghost world. Flag and fan. Turn on the fan. Can we make, can we shred the flag? Does that do anything? Oh no, look at that. It grabbed the, um, okay, darn. If I'd hopped onto the flag, oh, it would have taken me up. I messed up, okay. Okay, so I gotta jump onto the flag, okay. Okay, so what do I gotta do? I gotta Q, got a ghost. So we turn, uh, turn on the blender. And we back into the ghost world, over to the flag, over to the blender. And this time I gotta jump on, okay. So turn that on. There we go, we'll just ride that up. Go back into... So long, sister. Just a few more steps. I hope I make it in time. Yeah, me too. Time is passing. Okay, I know, I know, I know. Flag, can we do anything? Wait, we're on the flag. No, I didn't want to do that. What did I do? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I should have ghost worlded it. Okay, I get it. I get it. So I gotta go here. I gotta Q and turn this on. And Q and go back here. I think I get it. Uh, and then over here and then Q and turn this on. E. And then cue myself over here and then back into the real world. Go up here and then I cue. And I get into the bike. Yay. Okay, so I think I know what I do. Can I ride the bike on him? Now's your chance to change your fate. This There isn't much time left. This is coming down to Battle of Seconds. Okay, wait. I have a thought. G? Time is almost up. Wait, I didn't see my thought. You have to change uh, her fate for the countdown reaches zero. Time doesn't pass in the ghost world. I better possess something fast. Okay. Um, the pedal. Does the pedal do anything? It doesn't look like it. Go up here. Does this do anything? Ring. Okay. Let's cue. Ring. Damn it. What's going on here? Nearsighted Jigo never misses as long as the target is within point blank range. Oh, so that's his deal. He can. He has to have a shotgun and he has to shoot people at point blank range. It looks like you made it in time, just barely. Yep, yeah, she's still alive. And I uh, was a split. And in that split second, hope was born. Just now, fate was changed, albeit ever so slightly. Fate changed. Okay, but she's still kind of in a bad situation here. She's stuck. Oh, we gotta let down the drawbridge. Trick time. Okay. You said fate was changed. But it looks like she's still in the same predicament. I said her fate was changed ever so slightly. I guess I'm gonna have to take care of that guy once and for all, yeah. Uh, but there isn't much time left, depending on what you do. There's still a possibility of failure. 
I don't want to think about failure right now. No, of course not, but still, if you ever feel like you want to start over, just tap R before time runs out. Uh, okay, so we can start over. So this isn't like insta-death or anything. Uh, you might learn a thing or two when time runs out, too. All right, I'll keep that in mind, but right now I'd better go after those two. Okay, so Q. Go after those two. Oh wait, let's pedal. Q and E. Pedal forward, yes. Okay, Q. And now I can get up, go here and go here. And then back into the real world and, and trick. You hear something? Okay, how do I get up there? Do I pedal forward? No. Oh, see, I'm on the ladder. Okay, Q and extend. Extend the ladder. There we go. There we go. And there we go. And then Q and then open. Yes! Splat! Splat! Oh god, it's a good thing we didn't hit her with the bike. No, no, she's gonna get splatted! Oh wait, no, it rolled right- okay, okay. I thought this was like a platformer and she would get splatted. It look- it looks like a platformer, doesn't it? Uh, does it- how does it feel to save a lady's life? Um, so the danger is gone? Yeah, it looks like the danger, Mr. Danger, in fact, rolled away somewhere. You used your powers to avert that woman's fate. So I did all that, huh? You most certainly did. And I knew you could do it. What is he, Mr. Roger? I knew you could. Um, she seems kind of shell-shocked. So I lost my life tonight, and I saved somebody else's life. Yeah, I think we got it. This is how you ghost trick. When I came back to the present, it was raining. I had saved the life of the stranger now sitting forlornly in the rain, even as the story of my life and this planet came comes to an end. Achoo! A stranger. That word strikes a chord, and a terrible truth begins to dawn on me. I can't recall a thing. Who am I? What is this place? And most important of all... Why was I killed? Okay, so I'm right here. Your story isn't over yet. Who exactly are you anyway? Just call me Ray. As in, Ray of Light in the Darkness? Haha. <laughs> Good joke. Um, Ray, huh? So you aren't going to tell me your real name, I take it. Well, maybe he doesn't remember it. You'd have... You haven't told me your name actually either. I can't remember. Yeah, I guess memories of the newly departed get a bit confused. Some of us get our memories back. Others never do. But if you ask me, does it really matter? After all, there's only one path left to the dead. And that is to disappear. Disappear? When the sun rises in the morning, I'm afraid you'll, you're going to cease to exist. What? Tomorrow morning? But wait a minute. These powers of the dead. Yes? I'd like to use them to save someone else's life. And whose life might that be? Uh... Do you even have to ask? Mine, of course. Ah, I see. But think about it this way. 
if we could use ghost tricks to save ourselves, wouldn't I have tried to save myself as well? I mean, look at me, I'm a desk lamp. Why a desk lamp, anyway? I'm not really sure myself, to be honest. But in any case, it seems we are unable to use the powers of our, on our own corpses. You're, you're kidding. You'll only exist in this world until tomorrow morning. I'm afraid that fact can't be changed. So there's really no escaping my own death? Wait, maybe you could save Ray and Ray could save you. How about that? In the morning, I'm going to cease to exist. Apparently, there's nothing I can do to change that. But just the same, I still want to know. I want to know my story, the lost story of my fate, right up until my time of death. And until I learn that, you won't be able to rest in peace, right? Very well, I understand how you feel. You want to go and learn the truth about your death as well. I will, but let's see, how, how do I go about? I can't even imagine what the first step would be. The first step? That's easy, you start with her. The person who witnessed your death, she should have some important clues, don't you think? Hey, you're right, and not only that, she might even know who I am. Yes, I'd say there's a very good possibility of that. What was I going to... What was I doing here tonight in a place like this? That woman probably knows the answer. That's right, never forget that. She's the key to everything tonight. The key to everything? What do you mean? You'll know soon enough when you regain your memory. Yeah, I'm a blank sheet of paper, right? I should probably keep some kind of record of everything I learned tonight. That's a very good idea. Press X to view the record and see what you've learned. And be sure to check it out now and again. Memories aren't always the most reliable things after all. Updated the- oh, it's a phone book, okay. Wait, phone book? Uh, claw? Two. Oh, let's shimmy this. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy. Don't fall on her, though. I better not let her out of my sight. And besides, I'm not the kind of guy to let just let a woman sit sneezing in the cold rain. I think I'll try to move closer. Um. Q. Open the umbrella? What in the world just happened? The crane moved all by itself, and then the big iron ball fell all by itself. It started raining all by itself, and then the umbrella came down all by itself. Well, I mean, like, the rain part's simple, but the rest of it is pretty weird. Don't tell me I have psychokinetic powers. It's all her. Yeah, she's clearly, clearly it's all her. It's a cat! Meow! But seriously, what in the world just happened? What's this? Some kind of note? I want 
to see the note. I wonder what I wrote in it. Hopefully, it's not just shopping list or something. Yeah, that wouldn't help. Uh, I mean, it might help. It might actually help. A shopping list would be fine, too. Wait, what am I doing here? Traffic sign... Oh, the note. We gotta go to the note. Uh, did I write this note? Maybe I should give it a read. So you don't remember writing it? No, I don't remember writing it, but even more importantly... I didn't get a chance to read that note. Uh, not to interrupt your train of thought, but I wonder if you've realized where this telephone call is coming from. Oh wait, it's the 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 wait. It was the they're calling for the hitman. They're they're calling for the hitman. Before you helped her avert her fate, didn't a telephone call come in around this time too? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's the hitman. It, he was getting a phone call. Wait, how does that work, though? That's like a public phone. Oh, it's done. He just picks it up and says, It's done. I'm on my way. Okay. That telephone call. Exactly. In other words, at this very moment, at the other end of the telephone line, is the culprit who ordered your murder. What? Let's get him. Um, I mean, like, we can do something, right? I, re I recommend you possess the telephone. Once you've done that, I'll tell you about another one of your ghost tricks. Can we shock him through the phone? Can we zap him? Let's zap him. And then I saw him. Right there, on the other end of the line, I saw the face of the man who ordered my death. Is it done? Speak up, man. Did you get her? Who is this? Ah, oh, yes. A thousand pardons, my dear lady. I must have dialed the wrong number. Fa la la. La la la, is he... Christmas elf? Trace complete, so that's him. The minute we, tra we traced him, would we get his phone number? That's right. So, what do you think? Would you like to go see him? You better believe I would. So we can see the address, maybe. Uh, then would you... You would do well to listen to me. We ghosts exist by possessing inanimate objects, however... There is one way we can move from place to place, and that would be the dead can jump from point A to point B by moving over telephone lines. Say what? I've done all I can do to help you. You'll have to do the rest yourself. You're not coming with me? I'm afraid not. My powers have grown weak. Oh wait, is I've already used up most of my remaining strength. But I had to come to ask for your help. My help? Many mysterious things will happen in this town tonight. I'm trusting you to get to the bottom of them. You're the only one who could do it. I want you to use your powers of the dead to find this truth. Wait. It feels like they know, like, everything. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't, like... Like, they're another dead person. But they know everything that's going on, right? 
This is kind of weird. That's what I'm saying. Tomorrow morning, I will cease to exist. It doesn't uh, give me a whole lot of time. I need to pursue my own mystery and find out the truth about myself. That's more than enough. Huh? If you succeed in doing that, you'll have done what I asked anyway. The two are one and the same. One and the same. What? This death lamp knows a whole lot more than he's telling me. Yeah, exactly. Now then. From that call a moment ago, you now have the culprit's telephone number. The rest is up to you. So the story of the search for myself begins, the story that will last one night only. Tomorrow morning I will cease to exist, and I'm surprisingly okay with that fact. I have to find the answers before the sun comes up. Why was I killed? And what exactly is going to happen in this town tonight? Save. Yeah, we should save. See, now, the other thing I'm wondering is, like, how... Because it's a demo, right? I don't have... I didn't buy the game. How far does the demo go? Because I was... When I see Chapter 2, it makes me think that maybe that's, like, the end of the demo. Uh, the one... Who am I? Why was I killed? The one who is sure to know the answers to these questions is the man who ordered my murder. Okay, so... Well, also, we should just get this guy. Like, let's see if we can squish him. Uh, at the other end of the phone line is the very man who had me killed. Our meeting. It's all so sudden. I'm not sure what... I wasn't... I'm not so sure I'm really prepared for what's to come. Okay, let's see what's up with this eyebrows dude. Hmm, yes. If... What I read in this file is true. This woman could be quite bedeviling, bit of trouble to us. She needs to be erased tonight. Confound that nearsighted Jigo. His skills are as feeble as his eyesight. No worry, sir. I have taken the next step. Hmm, yes. But I say, the last thing I ever expected was to talk to the target herself. Wait, how does... How does he know who he's talking to? Even if it was only over the telephone. I must admit, my good man, it put me in quite the tizzy for a moment. What is this place? It's oddly luxurious furnishings, this oddly refined music... And the odd little machine, I've never seen a room like this before. But one thing's for sure, these people are assassins. And what's more, that red-haired woman is another of their targets. That file the old man has. Maybe it'll give some information on my redhead. My redhead? Okay, he's a little being a little creepy about this, I think. Me thinks. Updated the phone book. Okay. Wait, what does that do? Trick time. Okay, we got a, we got a ghost and trick. So. Q. Let's see that file. What's in the file? It seems the file contains information about that redhead. But I can't read it when it's closed. Damn it, we gotta get him to. Great Scott, did you see that? The file, I say. The file reared up and snapped at me, my good man. 
Nearly bit my head off. Not to worry, sir. I've already seen to it that the target, Miss Lin, is no longer a threat. That's not what I'm talking about, man. Lin. Uh, so that's her name. This file. It's like it's written in a foreign language. I can't read it at all. Might I suggest putting away the file and relaxing, sir? This is like a secret villain hideout. You have a very important job ahead of you tonight, sir. Gee. Darn. This is a pickle. No, it looks more like grapes, actually. The phone... Uh, really big grapes at that. The phone that I got, uh, the phone and I got put away neatly, and the only thing I've learned is that the name Lin sure is a weird room. I've traveled through the phone line to get here. But where exactly is here? And who exactly are these people? Q. Yeah, I can't get back down there. That's the lamp. We can't do anything with the lamp. Get up there. Okay, Q and operate. Egad, man! Are you trying to give me a case of the vapors? My apologies, sir. I did not touch it, sir. It appears the equipment is still malfunctioning, sir. Hey, what's up, Crystal? But, uh, our use of it is just plain off, confound it. Yes, in any case, I don't wish to see the face of our current target, my good man. As you wish, in that case, might I suggest this, sir? Oh, that's us. Why does it- why does this- is it just me- what- okay. This dude- Reminds me of Max Hedrum for some reason. Yes, Sissel. Okay, so our name is Sissel. If all goes well with our deal tonight, we will have the power to change the world, sir. Yes, it's a very important night indeed, my good man. We can't afford to make mistakes. And that is why we can't afford to trust that Sissel. No, we must be very careful. Wait, do they not know that I'm dead? Sissel, that must be my name. Now that does sound familiar. A deal, huh? What could this be about? Just what exactly was I up to, I wonder? Is it just because he's like an 80s dude with glasses? Is that why he makes me think of Max Hedrum? Also, isn't Max Hedrum kind of a ghost in the machine? Like this is this is like a ghost in the machine thing, right? Yeah, this is a detective game, Chris Perez. We are completely prepared for it's not just a detective, but it's a phantom detective game. Completely prepared for tonight, sir. Those grapes look really good. I wish I had, like... Oh, wait, they keep on growing. Yes, now all we have to do is pluck the fruit of success. See, like, it keeps on regenerating. One thing's clear. These villains seem to know me. And another thing. There... There seems to be some kind of connection between me and this Len. Why else would our names come up like this? Okay, so... Operate again. Where's your head, man? I told you, I don't want to see this face. My apologies, sir. It appears to be another malfunction, sir. Well, get it fixed, man. Unless you want to see me malfunctioning. Certainly, sir. Ooh. 
These guys murdered me and now they're targeting the redhead. What kind of connection do we have with each other? G. Spinning this painting around makes the old man's head spin. But what's that about? I've got to find the right timing to get beyond this projector. What I need tonight is a way to flip this situation around. Flip the situation. Okay. That's a clue, isn't it? Q. I can operate the projector, but I'm not sure it does anything. Get to the lamp. Lamp doesn't do anything. I can't get down here. Oh, okay, wait. If I operate the projector, will it flip? Can I go right here? Same thing again. NPC dialogue. These guys murdered me and now they're targeting the redhead. Yeah, okay, we already went through that. Okay, so now I'm down here again. What is H? I say this room is giving me the heebie jeebies, my good man. What, with this painting spinning around and the like? It's enough to... My apologies, sir. This room was just completed recently. We're still trying to iron out the kinks, sir. Hmm, I just hope that's all it is. I mean, egad, man. How am I supposed to relax and enjoy my grapes? Thank you. Um... Oh, we can operate this. What? It's a miserable state of affairs when I can even be startled by the telephone that doesn't ring. It's even more pathetic to be startled by the same telephone twice, bah. The problem must be solved, sir. Uh, the Miss Lynn problem, sir. What, Lynn? Yes. You did mention taking the next step a moment ago, didn't you, my good man? Yes, sir. I sent one step ahead Tango to her apartment. That telephone call must be him reporting in, sir. Very good. Very good. Lynn is in danger again. Uh, let's ghost. This is one step ahead, Tango. Okay, Tango. Wait, before he was like Tingo. Wait, no, Jingo. There was Jingo, and then this is ten Tango. Or Tango? It's, uh, the, I'm in the target's, I'm at the target's apartment now. And? Out with it, man. Have you taken care of her? No, she isn't back yet. What? It only stands to reason. If the target got the got here first, they wouldn't call me one step ahead, now would they? I don't get it, but in any case, uh, man, once you've taken care of her, then you'll promote me to the head of the Hitman division? Bah! No, man! Now you're even getting one step ahead of me! We can discuss my new salary later. Great Scott! Now you've in, you're even getting one step of your last one step ahead. I'll get back to my job, sir. Confound it. You're even hanging up one step ahead. Trace complete. Okay. So now I can go... Now I can go to Lynn's apartment. What did he say, sir? He asked me to raise his salary. What will you do, sir? Maybe I'll give him some of nearsighted Jigo's pay. Len! I can't lose her. She's my only lead if I ever hope to solve this mystery of me. There we go. Let's go to Len's apartment. Uh, 
Oh no! That dog! Telephone line guided me to Lynn's apartment. Fortunately, Lynn isn't here yet, but unfortunately, the hitman is. And there's a couple of other unfortunate little developments waiting for me, it seems. Looks like an unlucky little lady here tonight. And an even unluckier little doggy. That the poor brave little warrior. He must have been trying to defend his mistress. If Lynn came home now to do something about the situation and fast. So ghost trick. Okay, so we're on the telephone. Let's see, let's ghost it up. Uh, telephone, umbrella, we can extend the umbrella. I don't think that helps us. There's that. Open the door. Oh, there's the dog. Okay, let's talk to the dog. Huh? Where am I? And it, more to the point, who am I? Who am I? Uh, are you talking to me? Of course, do you see anybody else around here? If I remember right, the dead don't have voices. Their thoughts reach the other person directly. I guess that explains why this dog is talking to me right now. This is your mistress's apartment and you are presumably the little doggy who died here. Died? So I'm dead, huh? Let's see, the dead lose their memories and even forget what they look like. And so that's what this blue flame shape is all about. Okay, so if they don't remember, they're a blue flame. There's no time to lose. Miss Camilla, my Miss Camilla is in trouble. You mean you remember? You know who you are? That's right, I'm Missile. Nice to meet you. So wait, we're Sissel and the dog is Missile. I'm a Pomeranian, yeah, clearly. I guess now it's possible for the dead to regain... Now we know it's possible for the dead to regain their memories? Thanks to this little doggy. Miss Camilla! Miss Camilla! My Miss Camilla is in trouble and I vowed to devote my life to protecting her. But I died before I could rescue her. How could I let her down like this? So you're more worried about your mistress's safety than your own death. I like your moxie, little doggy. Looks like it's time to go back to four minutes before this little guy's death. Time to save his life. Rewind time. Mason, Mason de, shouldn't it be Damira, not? De Amira. Let's see. First of all, I'd better see what I can find out about your death, little guy. Excuse me, but where exactly are we? Uh, you followed me? I followed you. You brought me with you. One or the other. Looks like the dead can move around together. This, this land of four minutes ago, this is the land of four minutes before your death. Really? We're really here? So that means you're going to save Miss Camilla, doesn't it? Aren't you even surprised? I mean, we traveled through time and... Not especially. I mean, Miss Camilla can walk around on two legs, but I can't do... Oh, wait. So if she can walk around on two legs, then... It's not so strange that you can walk backwards through time. Okay. So that's the way your mind works. I, I guess that's reasonable enough. Come on, come on, let's get started. Okay, first we uh, watch the last four minutes unfold. Then we use what we learned to save Camilla. Just like when I saved Lynn at the junkyard. If we watch closely, we ought to get be able to get a few leads. Keep your eyes open. Of course! Leave it to me to sniff out a few clues.
Yippee! I found the remote! Shut that mob up. No, Missile, you're not supposed to bark. The lady next door is crabbier than ever tonight. If it barks again, I will knock this wall down. You don't want her to walk, knock the wall down, do you? Why do you bark so much anyway? You sure are cute, but just don't get us killed, okay? Oh god. Foreshadowing. Or after shadowing. Some kind of shadowing. Darn, I really wanted to watch TV too. Hey, I know, I'll listen to some music. Oh no, she's gonna put it. Okay, no, she got it. I'm in the mood for donuts tonight. That's so weird to have like a. Donuts in a bowl. Also, those are weird donuts. Like, usually donut holes aren't that big. You know what I mean? Like, donuts are like, they've got tiny holes. Oh no, she doesn't like the dog barking. But she can't hear that the dog is barking. And the rat just went away with the donut. Oh no, and here comes nearsighted, or no. Um, one step ahead, Tengo. Hmm, I don't really like it when these jobs, when jobs outside of the original scope crop up. I have to put it down as a separate charge, and accounting never likes that. But I guess it can't be helped. Sorry, kid. So... That's the whole dramatic story of what happened four minutes ago before you died. Wow. Look at that, I'm dead. I'm kinda shocked to tell you the truth. Okay, let's get started on saving her. But, let's see. How are we gonna do this? Seems like the easiest way would be to take... for you to take a big bite out of that man's leg. Oh, I don't think I could do that. Whenever somebody I don't know comes around, all I wanna do is, uh... Say, say, all I want to say to them is, welcome! I can't help it. I guess the only thing that we can do is get that little lady to help herself somehow. Oh, I don't think she could do that. Didn't you notice her putting on those red things? Red things? Oh, you mean the headphones? Whenever she puts on those red things, that's it. Okay, now, I'm a little confused, right? Take a look at this apartment. Notice anything? Look at the phone, right? And, like, it's not just this phone, it's like every phone in this game. It's a rotary dial, right? That's like 80s, 70s. That That's an old school, that's a very old phone, right? That's not just a landline, that's like a... It's before the landline, right? But, notice that she has wireless headphones. Something seems weird about that, right? Why does she have wireless headphones if there's a rotary phone, right? Wireless headphones is Bluetooth. Is there... It, was, was there any kind of wireless headphones before? It doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. But she never hears me. Okay, so she doesn't hear when... Yeah, because... I hate those red things. Yeah, I mean, docs would hate headphones, right? With those headphones on, our, our little lady doesn't even hear the sound of the intruder's gun. So maybe that's our first lead. Now that we have something... Now... We have to do something about that. Okay, so we have to prevent her from putting on the headphones. Okay, there's my soul. Q. What do we have? We're gonna open the door. 
closes again. It closes again. Okay, we go to the phone. But that doesn't help us, it just dials. We get up here. We can bump this. But we can't knock it off. It doesn't matter how many times. So close. You almost knocked those red things down. I think you're onto something there. If I could... If we drop them into the fish tank, Camilla won't be able to use them anymore. But if we drop them into the fish tank, Miss Camilla will get a scolding from Miss Lynn. All you have to do is pretend it was your fault. That's the way of an honorable warrior. Okay, but you've obviously never seen Miss Lynn when she gets mad. I mean, obviously not. So wait. Just stay here. H. You don't want her to knock the wall down, do you, boy? Why do you bark so much anyway? You're so cute, but don't get us killed, okay? Darn, I really wanted to watch the TV too. Hey, I know, I'll listen to music. Okay, here, here she comes. Here she comes, okay. Yo, I got it! Nice! I thought I missed the timing, but I got it. How did I manage to do that? <laughs> Lynn just bought those headphones, too. How about if we tell her you did it, Missile? Darn, now I can't even listen to music either. I think the gods are playing tricks on me. Or, yeah, or a ghost. Forgive me, Miss Camilla. I'm only doing this to save you. So what? Now you think you're one of the gods? Huh? No, n never mind that. I mean, dog is god backwards, so maybe, in a way. The important thing is, uh, we managed to change the situation. That's true. At least now, we can use the little lady's ears to help us. Fate changed. So, we tracked the... Wait, no, maybe I want to leave it like that. I'm in the mood for donuts tonight! Donuts, you say. Okay, Q, let's go into ghost mode, get to the phone, to that. Oh, wait. Oh, we can move the cart. we do anything with the donuts? We can rock the bowl. Oh crap. Time is passing. If you keep this up, the wall is going to come down or on our heads before we know it. But you'll protect me if anything bad happens, right, Missile? Of course I will. That's quite a big promise for a little fellow. Poor little guys up against some formidable op opponents. The man in the black, the woman in the purple. I can't make another donut fall. What do we do now? Without that donut, the squeaky guy won't come, and I won't bark. Yeah, that barking part is your favorite, right? Huh, it looks like if only one... We, we only get one chance.
Where did the donuts go? Okay, so we do we change where she sits now? Is that a good thing? Is that helpful? Go to the donuts, go here, go here. Can't get up there, can I? What's from Urban Outfitters? Okay, so we're waiting for the time to go out now. That, here's the question, like, will this... Okay, wait. It says time till death, right? Go here. Okay, we can make this rotate faster. Does this do anything? Turn the latch. I don't know what I did. Something just fell, and quite dramatically, too. It was a wooden box, kind of heavy. I wonder what it's doing there. I'm just glad it didn't fall on Miss Camilla's head. Me too. We don't need to add a number to the number of ghosts around here. Listen up, little girl. I'll make you a deal. If you promise to let keep quiet, I'll let you live from for now anyway what a shame oh no but this brave little fellow refuses to accept our deal missile no okay so we gotta get we gotta keep the dog from barking doesn't seem like i can stop the intruder from coming in and I guess this doggy doesn't have much fighting power. People almost tell me, often tell me my name doesn't suit me. Yeah, because your name is Missile. Uh, I guess the only thing to do is to hide the lady someplace where the hitman can't see her. Better rewind time and think about this. Okay, so rewind after fate change. So it's something to that we got to do with the donuts.
We got a pink rat this time. Missile, if you bark like that, you make the lady um, mad. If you keep this up, the wall is going to come down on our heads before we know it. These same things... Same thing happened before. Why do you always give your mistress so much trouble? Yes, I am truly embarrassed by my own behavior. But when that little guy starts squeaking, it gets me all in an uproar. And then I bark. Miss Camilla always comes over and gives me a nice hug. You might be able to take advantage of that piece of information. Oh my god, did I mess this up again somehow? Wherever the donut falls, that rat shows up and checks it out. And then you go bark at the rat. And then our little lady comes to quiet you down. So in other words, the donut can be bait that will lead the little lady where we want her. Where do we want her? Like under the, um... She needs to hide. Not sure if that's the right thing to do. Um, doesn't seem to do anything either. Like, does this help? Thank you. 
I don't think we made it any better. I don't th is there The only thing I can think of is this. Will this help? Can you open the door when he comes in and like maybe knock him over? But I don't think that I think we're supposed to do something with different with a donut. Okay, wait, we can't use we can't cue when he comes in. So we can't. Okay, so we have to move the donut somewhere that So we don't want to knock the donut off here. I mean, it almost looks like we can move the what how, so we got to like somehow like move the donut. I don't know what would move the donut though. All right, two ideas. We got rid of the donut. Wait. I don't think that was it either. Because we gotta get her to... Where do we want her to go? Let's try this again. Thank you. 
The ornament fell off. Okay. Like, there's... G, G. So we haven't knocked this off yet. Wait, maybe this... Okay, wait, we know... Be fast. Oh my god, I don't know if we're fast enough. That. I think we got it. I think this is it. Maybe this is it. Yeah, yeah, we knocked the donut in a different- Yes, yes! Okay, I think we did it. I think we did it. That's where we want her. That she's safe. She's safe. She just has to be quiet. Yeah, yeah, that's right. She's- Hugging the dog so the dog will be quiet. He's just gonna sit down and eat donuts. My prey is bound to come home sometime. Might as well make myself comfortable meantime. You're gonna eat donuts? Yes, eat donuts! Omp. There! Our little lady's fate has been averted! It has? The poor thing is still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear. Well, that's true. But that's not so bad in the scheme of things. I'd say she's just fine. And look, you're not dead. Yes, we saved the dog. We saved the dog, we fed the rat, we hid the girl. I think we're good. Oh, you're right. We did it. We did it, didn't we? We did it. Well, to be precise, you're the one who did it. Huh? Because you're the bravest warrior. Me? I say Miss Camilla? Yes, you. You're the one who led her under the sofa, right? You protected your mistress. I can attest to that. Oh, thank you. Fate averted. Yes. Can I ask you a question? Sure, what is that? What exactly are these strange powers of yours? Oh, you mean 
my ghost tricks? Apparently they're powers to manipulate inanimate objects. If they're ghost tricks, then can I do them too? I'm dead too, after all. I, I guess, uh, that's how it goes, right? I've been staring at those donuts as hard as I could for a long time now. But they won't budge for me. Why do you suppose that is? I don't really know. I guess you don't have that power. Well, I have one thing to say to that. That's not fair. Sorry. I, I guess not everybody who dies gets the powers of the dead. So what's going to happen to me now? Nothing really. Your death has been erased. You'll just go back to being a happy little doggy, living your everyday life. I guess this means goodbye. But we'll meet again sometime, right? Yeah, maybe, if you die again. What you did for me tonight, I'll never forget it. Well, I guess we'd better be getting back to the present. Time to see what happens next in our story. Okay, so we saved the dog. We saved the girl. And now a new present is born. The little lady is still curled up in a ball, shaking with fear. The little doggy is wagging his tail happily. So what am I going to do now? I think I'll watch and see what happens. What? Still at the junkyard? Alright, got it. I'm on my way. Oh, so that's the phone call that we already listened to, yeah. I guess my prey likes to play hide and seek. She hasn't had enough of that junkyard yet, apparently. I mean, junkyards are quite in, you know, enrapturing, I don't know, in... I can't let nearsighted Jigo beat me out on this one. I better hurry. Crisis averted, I would say. What was that all about? You saved me, didn't you, Missile? I just know you did. Oh. Then. Trick time. Wait, we gotta do another trick? What is the trick? A call from Len? Sounds serious. I wonder what they're saying. I better go possess that phone and listen in. Yeah, we gotta tap that phone. Get there. Get there. Get there. There's that little doggy all curled up on the floor. Dreaming away the life. We worked so hard to get back for him. That's fine, but what's up with that core? The dead can't possess living creatures. That's one of the rules Mr. Deslamp taught me. So why, what would a living and breathing doggy be doing with a core? I better tr try possessing him and seeing. Okay, why do you have a core? Oh, it's you! It's you! It's, hmm. Come to think of it, I never did ask your name. I, I guess that's good. We ran into each other again then. It's a good chance for us to reintroduce ourselves to each other. You mean you forgot my name already? It's Missile. After everything we shared today, the, together, the drama, that tearful goodbye, I'm Missile. Uh, but, you know, it's strange. I wonder why you remember me now that you're alive again. Do you remember the time your time being dead? Of course, all of it. Okay, let's get this straight. The memory of being dead doesn't disappear, and the dead I meet in the ghost world develop a core when they return to the land of the living. Interesting. And then I possess that core, I can talk to that person. It looks that way, yes. 
Okay, let's move the cart. Q. Move. Q. Into the phone. And tap the phone line. Camilla! Oh, thank goodness you're okay. Well, I don't know if I'm okay exactly. You won't. Listen to me. You've got to get out of there right now. But what about dinner? I was thinking about spaghetti tonight. I won't be going back there for a while, and I might be in danger if you st You might be in danger if you stay there too. But I already was in danger just a little while ago. Meet me at that restaurant, the Chicken Kitchen, on Dead End Drive. That sounds kind of weird. Dead End Drive? Uh, I don't know. That's pretty far. Just hurry, okay? Oh, and one more thing. Bring that music box with you, okay? Music box? I love music boxes. Is that a present for me? I'm sorry, but it doesn't play. I can't even get the lid open. Then you can't very well call it a music box, then can you? More like a box. Just bring it, okay? It's kind of big and it's made out of wood. Okay, I will. Where is it? Uh, kind of hid it in that room you're in. New character. Excuse me. Oh no, she threw the phone in. Oh no, we can't get to her. That's not good. Wait, are we stuck since the phone is like our way out? I dropped the phone in there too. How about if we tell her you did it, Missile? Missile's all for that. Yeah, I sure hope Lynn's all right. I'd better get going. I know where Dead End Drive is. But I never saw any music box around here. Where am I supposed to find it? Do you know where it is, Missile? Help me look, okay? Trick time, okay. It's too easy. See, so you must find it now. You must find it. Yes! It's the music box. I'll leave the remote here. But you don't touch it, Missile. If the TV comes on, you'll start barking. I'd hate to find you flattened underneath that wall. to go help Lynn. She's like a sister to me, you know? Uh, I was wondering about that. Is she... I thought maybe she was a mom. Uh, you be good while I'm away. And no barking! Oh, barking already. Still no peace for the little lady. And the redhead Lynn is facing a new crisis now as well. Meanwhile, I'm in a bit of a pickle of my own. With the receiver at the bottom of the fish tank, I find myself still trapped in this apartment. Yeah, I was gonna say, too bad I can't just curl up and go to sleep with my tail lagging too, because there is something I must do. The question is, how do I go about getting out of here? Saved. Yo! Yo! That's the entire, um, that's the entire demo version. Okay, so, um, like I said, if anybody wants me to play the rest of this, it's apparently $30. That's $30 that I don't have. If you want to do your own ghost trick and, uh, get it for me on Steam, my Steam, uh, name is No Comment Chick. So, uh, if anybody's interested in seeing me finish this game, 
I will totally play it for you because it seems like a really cool game. I really like the music. I really like the character design. It's it's silly, but it's cute. And um, I feel like there's more cute, silly adventures ahead of us. So yeah, uh, the there's a full version available. If anybody is interested in helping me, all you have to do is uh, is un <laughs> it's get unalived and use your own ghost. No, don't get unalived. You can do the ghost trick without getting unalived, I'm pretty sure. All you have to do is is ghost trick it to me uh, at no comment chick on uh, on Steam. But until then, we're gonna return to title because that's wow. that's as far as the uh, the demo goes. Wow, I didn't know if I'd be able to finish it entirely. 